We are back for a conversation we always look forward to, and it's with our friend Steve Schmidt, a Republican political veteran of the Bush White House and the McCain presidential campaign, also an MSNBC political analyst. Uh, Steve, a lot of folks in the what I define as the political and geographic center of this country, and it is still there, um, are rattled by what they see as a public campaign to diminish and smear a guy like Robert Mueller, who we all guess could be doing other things and making a fortune in private practice, and diminish and smear the Federal Bureau of Investigation. In your view, is it already bearing fruit for those who are behind it? Is it already taking hold or doing damage? Of course it's doing damage because, Brian, it's aimed squarely at important institutions in this country. And all through the Trump presidency, we've seen a proclivity to attack essential institutions that define objectively what truth is. Uh, essentially, that in this country is the free press protected by the First Amendment, journalists and news organizations, his smearing and demeaning them with the fake news label, confusing the American people. We see also now, on the other hand, another important institution in this country uh, aimed at uh, getting to the truth, and that's the American justice system. Uh, above the Supreme Court is inscribed equal justice under the law. Uh, our democracy, our constitutional republic, uh, its foundation is the rule of law. And so we see abetted by a news organization, which has really become a propaganda arm and is deliberately spewing misinformation, just like you would see in any one of a number of autocratic countries, to deliberately undermine faith in these essential institutions with a mix of nonsense and pernicious lies. Uh, of course, it's damaging, uh, and it needs to be confronted and, and talked about. We've never seen anything like it uh, in the modern era in this country. And you have to go back to the McCarthy era to see the deliberate smearing uh, of the good men and women uh, serving this country, uh, oftentimes in harm's way, uh, the likes of which we're seeing emanating now out of Fox News and out of the right-wing allies of this administration and media. Steve, I get approached by people who are throttled and a little bit scared uh, about uh, what they see as the possibility that um, some form of the president attempting to fire Robert Mueller or uh, the top leadership of the Justice Department happens. And all these folks are depending on uh, the sobriety of institutions like the United States Senate to rise up and take hold and take control. While I'm aware that one of your heroes and your former boss, John McCain, is out of the game for a bit while he recovers from chemo, are you confident, given your knowledge of members of the Senate and House and the kind of standing army in Washington, that that will happen, that cooler heads and greater minds will prevail? Every one of those members of Congress, Brian, has sworn an oath to uh, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. And what we've seen so far in this administration is an appalling unwillingness on the uh, part of the majority party to stand up to the excesses of this administration, to confront this president when necessary over his indecency, over the divisions he has uh, brought into our uh, public square. And so my confidence is low uh, that the Republican majority would step up and confront what would be an unprecedented attack uh, on the rule of law uh, by a president. And I think it would have the effect of precipitating a constitutional crisis. And I suspect what it would do is it would turn the 2018 midterm elections explicitly into a referendum on impeaching the president. 